installation video. I'm Zach Craig with Armor Tech. Today we're going to show you how to install our UC535, which is our regular cab size door for our 900 bike we have here today. Before we get started, let's go over a couple tools you'll need for this project. You know, socket driver with a 10 millimeter socket and some sort of hex head um, socket driver here. We got 11 16 regular wrench, three quarters. 7 16 wrench, an allen head to fit our uh, allen head screws, and I'm going to use a Phillips P3 bit installed in my impact driver today to speed things up a little bit. You can't. First things first, we want to take out our door jam, and it'll have some hardware bags in it. Now we're going to put some pieces onto our jam before we mount it. Um, we want to pull out our J bracket out of our bracket bag, our two of our female hinges out of our hinge bag and a couple of bolts, nuts, flat washers, and lock washers. And we'll go ahead and mount these hinges onto our jam before we place our jam onto our bike. We're going to take a piece of our hinge, it's the female end, and we want our hinge in towards the bottom of our bracket with our hole facing upwards. We'll just set that over the top and we'll take our bolts and slide those through. Here we'll take a nut, a lock washer, and then a flat, the flat washer going on first. And we'll go ahead and get those started for now. And we'll just leave those loose. You'll notice that this hinge has some vertical adjustment for any kind of adjustment we'll need for proper latching later on in our process. We'll come to the top and do the same thing. Alright, there's two things we need to do to some stock screws in our frame before we get started. Um, up here in the upper right hand corner of our frame, there's a 10 millimeter hex head screw that is inside our frame here. We'll have to take our 10 millimeter socket. We just want to go ahead and remove that bolt. We'll move over to our star bit. We've got some star head bolts here. We want to loosen those up with a plate that's welded inside our jam. And here we have a welded in plate as I was saying. And these two slots will slide up underneath the heads of those bolts. And then we'll come in and reinsert this bolt in the top right hand corner. Now we'll take our J bracket here, we'll have one hole, and uh, we'll grab a bolt, nut, lock washer, flat washer, and this will actually grab the inside of our tubular frame, and this hole will come through the top hole in our jam. Go ahead and lock that on like so, inside our jam, push our bolt through, take a 7 16 wrench. Go ahead and tighten that down with our impact. And now we've got our door out of our box and it's ready to be, um, it's ready to have some parts assembled on it and then we can go ahead and hang it. Um, the first thing we want to do is take the other side of our hinge, which is our male prong part. And we want that prong facing downwards to slide into the hole of our jam. And again, we'll just install those the same way we did on our jam. Let's come up here to the top holes the bolt run through those. Again we'll come down here to the bottom with our prong facing downward. Now hardware bag that we come with a, a long bolt and three mid-sized bolts here. And our long bolt would receive this jam nut that comes in our hardware bag. We'll go ahead and slide that on. And that goes into our punch just to lengthen up our punch a bit and we'll screw that on barely and we'll lock our jam nut in. Now this allows for us to make any kind of adjustments to, to where we won't have to push our punch button so far in to pop our latch off. So we've got that installed and now we can take our other three bolts and these also come with flat washers. 
We'll just come right here and put our punch button through the big hole. And we'll come in with a flat washer. One of our other mid size. Now these are 10 millimeter. If you're wondering for the size, we'll push these through. Go ahead and get that started. Take our other 10 millimeter bolt. And push it. We'll take our last and final one and get it in there. We've got our hinges and our handle mounted onto our door. Now the next thing is, the next step is to just go ahead and we hang our door. And these go on a lot similar to Jeep doors, basically just a free hanging swinging hinge. You want to pull your door out to 90 degrees or maybe even more to your bike. And we'll go ahead and set that thing down in. Line those up. Next we'll take our star bit socket here and we'll come to our door where our buckle is for our safety net and we'll have to take those completely out. We'll take our 1 8 striker plate here and a vertical hole and two little split holes and that will go mount right where you took your belt clip off. And you've got some small Allen head screws or bolts and some flat washers in your hardware bag. And we'll go ahead and take that. Now we want to align our 90 degree bend towards the inside of the bike with our two slots facing vertically. We'll go ahead and start both of those. So that this has vertical adjustment for any adjustments we may need to make and when it comes time to latch. We'll take our five millimeter Allen wrench. Go ahead and just slightly snug those up. All right, next we'll take our striker bolt that mounts into that plate. We'll go ahead and unscrew the nut. You've got several washers here for any kind of spacing to adjust your latch because we always want our latch to try to hit the center of this bolt. This will actually be what our latch grabs onto to hold our door shut. Today I'm just going to take one washer off and leave the rest on there. Go ahead. And we'll just find center. A good place to start from. We'll take our three quarter and our 11 16th wrench. We'll grab the hexagon sides there. And go ahead and tighten this bad dude down. Our next step, we've got our door here and we're not quite hitting, we're hitting kind of solid, so that means our door needs to come up. Notice earlier on in the video, I told you that we have adjustments in our hinging points. A good, good point to start with, um, as far as adjusting our hinges, is this body line, on the brake line here, needs to come in and follow the contour right into the body line of our jam. So we're slightly down, so we'll go ahead and we'll lift this up ever so slightly match the contour line and we'll go ahead and tighten that down and just like that she's done you can enjoy it on your next ride